Hi, this is Armin Kite, and I am the chief investigative correspondent for CBS News here in New York. And um, for first look, and tonight, it really is first look. You're going to get a first-hand look at some unprecedented information. The results of a five-month investigation by CBS News and this CBS News investigative unit into veteran suicides. Nobody has ever collected this kind of data before. We looked, there were partial studies, but we were the first organization that ever went out and looked nationwide, collected all this data, and this is it right here, ladies and gentlemen. Producer Peter Malbron, who is actually standing right over there, she's afraid to go on camera. This is the results of five months worth of work, and you're gonna see the results tonight on the CBS Evening News, which I think is gonna be an extraordinary story. It's a long story. Uh, thanks to the executive producer, Rick Kaplan. It's right now 5 minutes and 22 seconds. And I really think it's a wake-up call for America in many respects on this issue of veteran suicides. I can tell you a couple things. Veterans in this country commit suicide at a rate twice the general population. For example, another little statistic. About 4,300 soldiers have lost their lives in combat in the Iraq and Afghan war. That's in about seven years. In a single year, 2005, those that had served in the military, there are more people in that year. That number will come out tonight. Many more than 4,315 or so committed suicide in a single year, those that were in the military. We're in the midst of a hidden epidemic, as we call it. We hope you'll watch. I think it's some of the best journalism this investigative unit has done. In fact, I know it is. Tonight on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric, I'm Armand Katayan.